Hey care, it's Joe Stuhl, the Land Knife, and today I got another five minute review for you. Today is the Finch Devil's Finger. So there's four options for this. There's two different Sequoia Greens, one with a black finish blade and one with a satin finish, and two different Red Canyons, sat, satin finish and black finish, or a black wash. So I have a, one of each blade finish and color here today. So. I'm going to give you the overall specs first, and then I'll tell you what I think of it. So overall, when fully deployed, it is 7.2 inches. Blade is 3.10, 154cm stainless steel. It's got a drop point blade, flat grind, a little bit of jimping. Deployed with jimp flipper stud. Oof. And there's also a bit of jimping back here on the liners within the handle scales. If you didn't know, it's a liner lock. It's also got a wired reversible tip-up pocket clip, which is different finish on which blade finish you choose. So you're going to get it in black wash or you're going to get it in like a, a satin stainless look here. This one of course is the green Micarta. It's got the Finch glow-in-the-dark logo inlay. It's got a couple of barrel spacers that match the finish. This Micarta is different from some other Micartas Finch has done. Um, on the holiday, it's a very smooth, very uh, fit Micarta. This one's a little more rough, a little more textured, a little more grippy. So if it gets wet, you're definitely be able to grip it. Same on the Canyon Red one. It's a different type of Micarta. It's not super smooth. It's got some texture to it. It too has the tip of a reversible wired pocket clip. It's got the, the drop point satin finish on this one, or like a two-toned satin. And then, woo, nice. Of course, this one comes with its own personal sticker. Devil's Finger. C would say this is his mother-in-law's knife right here. Liners, of course, match the finish of the blade along with the barrel spacers. Overall, I give this liner lock a solid A because it opens well. It's very sharp. I'm not super crazy about the handle design. I mean, it's long enough, definitely. This is probably second or third longest finch knife. It's a little uh, awkward for me with this this pointed end here. I mean, it, it gives you a good grip. It's just, uh, it's all right. I mean, I'm not crazy about this design. But some people be like, oh, I love that handle. And, you know, I think it's more of a personal preference with uh, things like that. Just depends on the type of handle you like. I usually like a little more contouring so my hand fits in there really well. There's not really any contouring on this. A little right here for when you put your your, uh, your finger there to try and grip it. I do like the jimping because it gives you extra control, pre precision cutting. Or if you just want to cut some tape on a box, you know. And I'd probably go with the green one with the black finish because I like it more. I just tend to like green and blue more than usually. Of course, also comes with a box and flipping the Finch sticker and a band-aid. Liners, of course, they are uh, milled liners. They got some cutouts, so to make it a little lighter, I think this one's 2.9 ounces. Designed by Spencer and Steve from uh, Finch Co., like all of Finch knives. They all have the glow-in-the-dark Finch inlay shield, so. Overall, decent decent little knife from Finch. It's the devil's finger, so. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, as well as follow Atlanta Knife on all those social media outlets like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, uh, Rumble. We're also on uh, podcast sites now like Spotify or uh, iHeart, Google, Stitcher, Radio Public, Buzzsprout, a couple of other ones. So if you like all things knife, outdoor, funny, movies, we do a lot of stuff like that. So we'll be letting out some more episodes soon. Okay, so I am just Joel the Land Knife. This was the Finch Devil's Finger, and I am signing off.